In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do time-lapse video with DaVinci Resolve. It's, it's very simple, so long as your file names are named sequentially. And if you do, then this is a super, super piece of cake. So first thing I've done is I've taken the images. In order to capture these images, I used my Panasonic GH4 on a Movo MTP time-lapse head to create a little bit of motion to the whole scene instead of just being a static shot. I like having that little bit of motion. Now capturing them with the GH4 means they're in 4 by 3 aspect ratio and not 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Plus I prefer to shoot in RAW and then do my time lapses as JPEGs so that I can make sure that the images are processed the way I want, all the highlights and shadows and colors and all that are where I want. So here I'm going to import these images into Adobe Lightroom and then I can do some processing on them. That will make sure that before I create the time lapse, my color grading is all done, everything is pretty much how I want it. So that's importing the images now, all done there. I have 193 images in this particular sequence. So I'm just going to develop the first one. That's all I need to do is do the first one. And I'm probably going to pull my highlights down a little bit so I can see more detail there. Up my shadows so I can see this tree a little bit more. Maybe pop a little dehaze on there. Uh, maybe a tad of vibrance. I like it. Now I'm going to crop the image. So I hit R to go into the crop mode. Over here in crop and straighten, I'm going to select 16 by 9. That's going to give me the aspect ratio that I want. So I can adjust how I want this framing done and I'm just going to kind of leave it right there and select done. Now, I'm with the first one selected, I'm going to scroll all the way to the end, holding down shift, click on the last one. So I select them all and right above that I'm going to hit sync. And now I can just very easily say check all, all the effects that I've done and synchronize. It's going to apply that same editing from the first one to all of them. So my framing will be good, my colors will be good, everything's ready to go. Now it's all finished with that. I'm going to go back to my library. All those are still selected. I'm going to select export and I'm going to select a specific folder. And I'll make sure that I give them a name, like time lapse with a sequence so that they're all in the right order. Quality is going to be at 100% resize to fit my long edge to 1920 since I'm going to be creating this in HD which is 1080p which is 1920 by 1280 my long edge is going to be 1920 which because it's 16 by 9 will make the short edge 1280 so that's all we really need to do so I'm going to select export it's going to ask me where do I want these to go I'm going to select my projects folder and off it goes to export 193 images. Now once this is done, I can go into DaVinci Resolve and you'll see just how easy it is to turn this into a time lapse. So I'll go ahead and speed this up while we wait for these files to export. Well, now that I have all the images processed, I'm going to go ahead and quit Lightroom and I'm going to bounce over into DaVinci Resolve and go and create a new project here. I'll call this Time Lapse because that sounds like a fantastic name. Go to my Media tab and I'll navigate to where I put these files. They're in my Projects folder. Well, now look, instead of a bunch of files, it's just one file. It's 
it time lapse image one through 193. Told you this was going to be easy. Drop that into my media tab, go to my edit page, drop that onto my timeline, and we've created a time lapse. So, a little jerky right at the beginning there. I, I did change some a setting there. So I want to find where that shifted. I'm going to crop that in, pull that over. This playback does seem really jerky, right? Well, part of that has to do with my machine. I'm running this on a MacBook Pro, not a big high-end machine. But I'm going to select this clip, go to Clip, render the Fusion output, turn that on, render the cache color output, and under playback, render cache is going to be user. Now it's going to render it within Resolve. This will allow much smoother playback in here. Not necessary if I'm just going to export it, but I want to see just how good it looks. Look at that. We've got some motion, we've got some cloud movement, and we've created a very simple time lapse. It's really just that easy the way Resolve sees a series of consecutive images as a single file makes it super, super easy to create that time lapse. Now, of course, I can slow this down, I can speed it up, I can treat it just like any other video clip. Uh, it's just one file with all those images, super simple to create a time lapse in DaVinci Resolve. This works from, uh, as far as I know, 12.5 version 14, version 15, so it all works exactly the same. So if you learn it here, it's going to be the same on all of them. So if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit like and share. Share it with your friends who might want to know how to do a time lapse like this. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you click on the bell icon to get notified every time we put out a new video. This has been Kerry. Thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye.